ladies and gentlemen. You keep saying I have no bitches, but where are yours? Where are they? I don't see them. Where the female editors at? Y'all don't, y'all don't rock with Da Vinci? Whatever. They did it. Julie, do the thing. Da Vinci Resolve 18.1 has been released. And the main thing, pretty much the only thing I was really looking forward to is Magic Mask now in Fusion. Been messing around with it a little bit. It works mostly the same as it does on the color page with some slight differences. So I'm gonna take this clip here and bring it on my timeline. I'm gonna cut it up a little bit. Got this footage from our grid. There's a link in the description down below. And we're gonna go through here and type in control space, type in mag, well, magic mask right here. I'm gonna add it to my node flow, my whole shift, drop it down to the line, turns blue and yellow, let go. It's now connected. And so for the little time I've been messing around with it, you wanna basically find a good reference point where your whole subject ends in frame and then you wanna go through and make your selection. As you notice it's all broken up here. Now in color page, I will track this and it will just kinda of go through and do, do its thing. And then I will make corrections later. From my experience with using it here on Fusion, you wanna actually make your corrections beforehand. So basically make a couple of different selections, like there's a hand here, you can hold Alt still, turn it into subtraction, take away things, Try to see if I can get this little space in between the arms. Okay, that's gone. And it's pretty much good. Now this is gonna be your reference, your reference point. Then go up here to inspect the tab and stick on track back and forward like normal. And you're gonna give it a minute. And it takes a little minute. Well, depending on your clip, it takes a little minute. But once it's done, you can hit play. And it's damn near flawless. Some other adjustments, you actually can go into the mat and you can turn up the blur radius to kind of soften the edges. Now you notice you got, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, you notice you got this little halo here. You go here into a road and bring it down ever so slightly. You wanna bring it back up just a little bit just to soften that edge out. You can also can turn down the threshold, turn it all the way up, just kind of melt the way your subject but you also can turn it, turn down the high end. And it kind of brings back a little bit of halo. So I'm going to leave it cranked up. Then you go down here to restore fringe. And still got a little bit of the halo there. I can go down here into blur, kind of crank it down, turn it down a little bit. And it's pretty much a perfect mat. You can also invert the mat, which is pretty much give you a silhouette. Now back on the tracking tab, you have these different points where you can actually jump through frames. So this will take you to the beginning of your clip. This will take you to the end of your clip. And this will take you back to your reference point, which is where you initially made your selections. You can clip the strokes here. This is your disc cache, basically just caching your subject. It's recaching now, that's why it's kind of chopping. You get this little green line here showing the caching process. From what I can tell, the reference time and the perceived frames, you can't adjust anything on it manually. Now, I did this using the faster setting, so if you go to better, it's more or less the same, but it gives you a little bit more of a blur on the edges, kind of blurring out the mask beforehand, for the most part. Back in the edit page, I'm gonna move this clip up one, and then I'm gonna grab just some random footage. I'm gonna grab this little clip here, drop it down here, and you can see you got an alpha background. And let this render out, you get a smooth playback. There's another thing I noticed too, in comparison to the Magic Mask from the color page, it's not as choppy and it's not as heavy on your computer. Whereas with using Magic Max on the color page, I will always render my subject in place just to lessen that stress on my computer. Using this, I still will because it's lessening the stress on my computer. I don't have to worry about it constantly rendering every time, but what I do know is you get a smoother playback. Also, it's Veteran Day weekend. So in light of that, for the weekend only, I'm going to have 80% off on my actual, my paid assets, my texture pack, and my transition pack. If you type in the code VET, you get 80% off at checkout. And I'll see you in the next video. Happy Veterans Day. Y'all be safe.